Health professionals on the Tyree are banding together to better support the community's most vulnerable residents. Dan Masterpick of the Family Mental Health Service is involved and he joins us to talk about the initiative. Good evening. Thanks for having me. Dan, tell us about this group that's been set up. Yeah, for the most part, it's a group of health and social, uh, health and social service professionals have, that have gotten together and formed a partnership. Uh, the idea being that we provide a multi-agency response where it appears to be complex needs. How will it help to enhance support? Well, I think one of the, one of the challenges that Moskill, uh, Moskill has is that a number of agencies actually come, to, come from Dunedin and actually provide, the, provide services to the Moskill staff, but once they finish, they, they often go, go home. Mm -hmm. So I guess the idea that we are, what we're trying to do is, is, uh, is, is keep them in town for a bit longer. And um, I guess we we're probably trying to get three things out of it. One was probably to um, improve the communication. We wanted to make sure that the, the clients that were out there that needed the services probably got the right service. And I think we probably wanted to make sure that there was, um, there was no one really sort of following in between the gaps of health and social service agencies. Mm. When did this idea come about? Well, as strange as it sounds, it was probably uh, something that came about uh, because of the Christchurch earthquake. And um, at the time, the Christchurch earthquake, there was quite a bit of forming going on of agencies, and there were some good ideas that were coming out of Christchurch. And so we thought, um, you know, we don't actually need a, a, an earthquake for, actually, for us to do something similar. We were fortunate in that uh, a couple of members from our group, including myself, were actually based in the Moscow area, and we were able to identify a need at that time. So what we did was I uh, sort of took the ball and, and, and ran with it. Mm. Tell us about the different services that are involved. Well, at the moment there's about eight services, but I think the intent was never to actually go out and recruit, cr recruit agencies. Mm. We've got agents, eight agencies now, and we're, and we're conscious that at times it'll probably you know, come and go. So at the moment there's three agencies that are from the Moscow area, and that's the Family Mental Health Service when we're part of the Well South uh, Primary Mental Health Network, or Primary Health Network. There's um, um, the um, Tyree, Tyree College, there's um, Turning Point Counseling Service. And then from Dunedin, we've got Corpac Trust, Anglican Family Care, Presbyterian Support. And uh, I don't know, that's about eight. How's it working so far? Well, so far, I think it's good. I mean, I think for the most part, there's always going to be some, some challenges. Um, I guess what I can say is that um, uh, we sort of always envision there would be a work in progress and what we'd probably have to do is continue to sort of evaluate um, as things go on. Um, I guess one of the things that we probably thought that um, we, c we would, would be able to benefit is, um, is probably helping some of those agencies such as uh, Ministry of Justice and CYF and probably the police sort of manage some of those high-risk clients that um, that uh, they might deal with. Um, at, at the moment it hasn't eventuated but I guess the reality for us is that we always knew that it was going to be a bit of a long-term project. Mm. Who can access the service? Well, for the most part, anyone in the Tyree area, and I guess what we would consider the Tyree area would probably be Green Island and Moskill area and, and probably the Outram areas. And essentially what we do is um, we'll, we'll take either self-referrals or people can actually refer themselves, um, uh, be referred from another agency. Mm. What are some of the common issues that you're facing? Well, I think the primary issue that we've dealt with, and um, you know, we've probably been receiving one to two referrals at this moment per month, uh, and we've been going for about five months, um, is probably actually been um, families where we've got people who have health issues, but yet they're also having issues in dealing with some of the behavior with their children. So that seems to be sort of the primary thing that we're dealing with at the moment. Mm. Is this kind of thing being done anywhere else? Well. Apart from Christchurch? <laughs> I guess what I would say is that uh, this might be unique, but I guess it's probably not unlike some, some other services. Mm. Uh, and, and I guess, you know, for the most part, what I would say is that we, when we were doing it, we were looking at what was best for the community, and we thought that we came up with something that um, probably suited the community needs. That doesn't mean that what we're doing is any better than, mm. than any other, other projects that are going on. It's just that we felt that uh, at the time that this is probably what the community needed. From the Family Mental Health Service, Dan Masterpick, thank you so much for your time and Merry Christmas. Thanks for having me.